Hey, what is up YouTube? The Builder is back here with another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to make Shady from Cash and Nico. So, to make this dude, what you're going to need is you're going to need light gray wool, white wool, yellow wool, yellow concrete, white terracotta, black wool, green wool, light gray terracotta, and green terracotta. And pause the video if needed, and once you have all those materials, what you want to do is you want to kick your build off with eight, with eight light gray wool on the floor. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then what you want to do is go on top of this row by three white wool, two light gray, three white wool. Then you want to do the same exact thing for the next row. So just copy what you have on that row. Okay. For the next row, you want to do one white terracotta, two white wool, two white terracotta, two white wool, one white terracotta. Then for the next row, you just want to do a solid row of white terracotta. For the next row, do four white terracotta then four black wool. For the next, um, looks like about one, two, three, four. For the next four rows, just do four solid rows of black wool. So one, two, three, four. Then for the next row, put black wool on either side, then yellow concrete everywhere else. Then for the next row, do yellow terracotta or yellow concrete on either side, then yellow wool for the rest of the row. Let me count this to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. Just checking the measurements, all right. Then for the next about eleven rows. You want to just do the same thing that you did here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So, and then that sucks since I cannot do the downward spout very easily. I'm just gonna go, have to go across, which takes a whole lot longer than it should. So. Okay, I think I'm almost there. And also, I'm most likely going to be pumping out videos every single weekend. There's maybe going to be a few here and there that I'm not, but most of the time I will. So, what you want to do for the next, for the final row, is you want to do three yellow terracotta. Two white terracotta, three yellow concrete. I do not know why I keep on saying yellow terracotta for yellow concrete. And once you have that, that is actually what your statue wants to look like. Pause the video if needed. And once you have that, what you're going to want to do is come over to either side. Both sides are identical. And I just opened up my inventory. You're going to want to place four yellow concrete on either side. Nope, actually make that three. Three on either side. So one, two, three. I'm going to be starting on the um, left. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do three rows of one yellow concrete, two yellow wool. And like I said, that's three. So, actually, no. The first two rows are just solid yellow concrete. So, like that. Then you want to do one yellow concrete and then three, two yellow wool and make that three. So, one, two. First, second, third. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do about... 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight solid rows of white terracotta. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, never mind. You only want to do seven because you want to stop right here. And that is basically what the arm wants to look like. And then all you have to do is just come over and copy that same exact thing on the other side. So, one solid row of yellow concrete, then one yellow ter one yellow concrete, two yellow wool, and then come down by two, making that three solid rows of the same, then seven rows of white terracotta. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And once you have that, that is actually what your statue wants to look like. So, pause the video if needed. And then let's continue on to the back. Once you have that. So, once you're done with the front, you want to come over to the back here and you want to do... You want to come off of the back by three light gray, so one, two, three, on either side. Then connect it in the middle with your light gray. Then what you want to do is basically just copy the first two rows. So, like this. That makes it way simple. Leaving you with something that should look like that. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do two solid rows of white terracotta. So one, two. Then do four black wool. So one, one, two, three, four. Then white terracotta everywhere else. Then you want to do four solid rows of black wool. So one, two, three, four. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do black on either side. Then yellow concrete everywhere else. Then do one yellow concrete on either side. And yellow wool everywhere else. And as you can see, it is basically identical to the front. But there's a little difference here. So, once you have this, which is the end of your legs, you're going to want to come up to the top here. And you're going to want to go up by 11. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Make that 12. Then bring it over and connect it all the way back down to the bottom. Leaving you with something that should look like that. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come to the right um, the left side here, and you're going to want to count it by one, two, and then find the third block and go down by about one, two, three, four, five, six with your yellow concrete. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And that is what that wants to look like. I don't know why he just has a random line on his back, but he just does. And once you have that, you literally can just fill the rest of this in with your yellow wool. So, I am actually going to do that. Oh, and as a matter of fact, if you guys want me to do another world showcase, this world does not have much in it. But, there are some cool statues. So... There's that fact. And once you've done that, here is the back of your statue fully complete. So, pause the video if needed. Then all you need to do is just come over and just copy what you have on the front for the arms. So, all you have to do is just look forward, see what you have, and... 
I mean, there ain't much to it, so. Like, as you guys can probably see, like, whenever I'm just building, you'll see random statues, like, right over there is the Spongebob. I mean, I'd be willing to make them, but it would be a long video. It'd be like Gru. So. Who knows? I want to build more of my um, custom statues because what I do, and some people may not believe me, but what I do is sometimes I will take skins from the Minecraft store and retranslate them over to Minecraft, and they look exactly like the actual skin. So, they're highly detailed, but they look cool in the end. So, once you have this, you are actually done with the back of your statue and then all you need to do is just come over to the sides and the sides are so simple we're basically going to play a little game I like to call match the colors so basically what it is is either side of your row you just need to stack what is on either side so like here you want to do two white wool then you kind of get the idea. So, we're basically playing a little game of color match. And, we are almost there. And, we have officially reached the top. And once you reach the top, come in by two with your yellow concrete. Leaving you with something that should look a little bit like this. Then all you need to do is just come over to the other side and do the same exact thing. So play color match again. And the thing is, the sides are different. Not by much. The only difference is that the black wool comes out in one more row. That's about it. Because for some reason, he just has one short leg hiked up I don't know why he just does but as you guys can probably see there are another two statues like you might be able to tell Daisy she had to be modified a whole lot and then you have Mia those two did not Mia did not have to be modified at, at all so Daisy had so much colors running for her that she could not go. Like you, if you tried to do all the colors, it would look like crap. To say the least. So, once you have... I can walk, I'm not pressing the right key. Once you have this on your other side, pause the video if needed. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come up to the top here. And you're going to want to stack up. Um, I want to see if it's, do one row of light gray terracotta, so, like that, just do a row of eight of light gray terracotta, then come forward by two with your white terracotta, then on top of this row, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do one light gray, one white wool, one green wool, one white terracotta, make that two, one green wool, one white wool, one white terracotta. For the next row, do one light gray terracotta, one black wool, one green terracotta, two white terracotta, one green terracotta, one black wool, one light gray terracotta. For the next row, do two light gray terracotta, one black wool, two white terracotta, one black wool, two light gray terracotta. Can I place the right block, please? There we go. 
For the next year, you want to do three light gray terracotta, two white terracotta, three light gray. Then for the next, for the last two rows, you want to do two solid rows of light gray terracotta. And as a matter of fact, once we're at the front here, I accidentally placed a white terracotta. You want to do that light, just in case you guys did that. Since we're at the front here, what we'll do is we'll do a little bit of, we'll do the 3D elements. What you want to do is you want to place a light gray terracotta right here. No, wait. Right here, right at this black wall. Then go up by one. Right by one. Then go up by one. Left by one. Right by one. Then go up by one. And left by one. Then you just want to go over and do the same thing on the other side. So... Leaving you with something that should look a little bit like that. And basically that's all the detail on the front. There ain't much, so. That's like the only 3D element to the statue. Then what you want to do is you want to come over to the sides here. And you want to do this little pattern. Leaving you with something that looks like that on either side. And why I'm doing that now is because of the fact of the matter being. Since you already have that, you can just come off the back by two rows with your light gray terracotta. So, one, two. Leaving you with something that looks like that. Then all you need to do is just create a cube with your light gray terracotta. Come on. You can do it. There we go. And then just fill it all in with your light gray. So, I mean that's all you have to do. So, And once you've filled it all in, you're done with the statue. There's not much to it, so it's a pretty simple statue to make. There's not a whole lot of colors. There's very, very, very minimal detail to it. So, of all of his friends, he has the most normal skin. He doesn't have a whole lot of repetitive colors that look exactly like. So, once you've filled that whole cube in, you are actually done with your statue. So, once you've done that, you have fully completed your shady statue. And as a matter of fact, I am actually going to end it off here. And I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.